Welcome uh, to our open forum for presidential candidate, Dr. Ray Alden. Uh, Dr. Alden, uh, thank you for putting so much time and effort into our search. We know that you have many other duties on your home campus that you had to put on hold on our behalf. Questions were drawn from all across campus. They were generated uh, from listening forums, from the uh, search committee itself, uh, and also any question that was asked from the floor in previous forums was added to the list. Uh, I think we're up to about 40 questions, so uh, you'll have a busy hour and a half. And for those of you who have seen us uh, ask these questions uh, throughout the time, you'll notice that I don't have my reading glasses, but that's okay, I have memorized them. <laughs> and the answers. <laughs> uh, no, that's just a joke, a bad one. We uh, have been asked by the Board of Regents to submit uh, names uh, to move very quickly in submitting the names that we uh, want to go forward to the uh, interview process with the Special Regents Committee of the Board of Regents. For that reason, we need your uh, evaluations as quickly as possible and no later than tomorrow at noon. So uh, please uh, submit those evaluations as quickly as you can. Now Peggy will uh, come up and uh, introduce Dr. Alt. Coming once again, we really appreciate your attendance. Uh, Dr. Alden has served in administration leadership positions at three rapidly developing public university, Northern Illinois University, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and Old Dominion University. He is currently the Executive Vice President and Provost at NIU. While at Northern Illinois University, he's had a long history, uh, while Northern Illinois University has had a long history of excellence in higher education, it has rapidly developed from a comprehensive Master's I institution to a doctoral research extensive university, now classified as a Carnegie Doctoral Research High, research high University and a Community Engagement University with four satellite centers and a field station. NIU has approximately 25,000 students with approximately 6,000 at the graduate level and more than 4,000 faculty and staff. Dr. Alden has administrative oversight for seven academic colleges, the Graduate School, the Honors Program, the Office of Academic Affairs, the Office of Research, <laughs> keeps going, the Division of Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, the Division of International Programs, the University Library, the University Press, and a number of programs dedicated to faculty, staff, professional development, and student success. Dr. Alden has led NIU in its first major strategic planning effort and has worked with the President and NIU Foundation leadership in the university's first capital campaign. Please welcome Dr. Alden. Thank you. I would like to, before I get started, thank the uh, search committee for giving me the opportunity to explore this uh, particular uh, exciting opportunity with you. And for thanking all of you for coming. I think, uh, I, I realize I'm the last candidate among six, and I know this is a very busy time of the semester, so I appreciate your interest in this important process. So thank you all. Uh, I'm more than flattered that that detailed biography was uh, read. I was going to give you about five minute synopsis of my background. I guess I don't need to do that. Although I did want to say a few things. I, we have spent most of our uh, lives and most of my professional career in the Southeast. So in some ways this feels like coming home. Uh, I also wanted to say a, a little bit about the three institutions I've served. Uh, ODU, uh, Old Dominion University is, despite its name, was a young university when I first uh, arrived. It was less than a decade from being a independent university, uh, independent from the College of William and Mary, which is a public um, but very elite uh, sort of uh, liberal arts uh, college and therefore the faculty that I interacted with when I came on campus had a strong tradition of the liberal arts and sciences uh, um, focus as well as uh, excellence in undergraduate. So at the same time it was where the population center of the state was and where the demand for higher education was growing very rapidly. So I was very fortunate as I went through the academic ranks 
uh, to full professor in biological sciences to participate with very collegial uh, uh, community, both faculty, and administrators, and external constituencies in uh, developing a plan and a program for a university that grew to over 20,000 students and achieved a doctoral resource status, but did not ever give up its focus on undergraduate education or collegiality for that matter. When I came to University of Nevada, Las Vegas, uh, I likewise found an institution that was a relatively new institution, a, a young institution. It had only been uh, uh, an independent uh, uh, university, public university from uh, University of Nevada, of Reno, for a relatively short period of time. And it was quite frankly recovering from what we refer to as the basketball wars, the Jer Jerry Tarkanian scandal and the fact that that split the community both internal to the university and external. So I was part of a team of administrators that came in shortly thereafter to try and rebuild the academic focus of the institution, which quite frankly had always been on undergraduate education and a very collegial group as well. I. Uh, Served as uh, three years for as, as dean, and then I uh, was uh, I served six years as executive vice president and provost, and we developed, as was mentioned, uh, during a time I think we were the fastest growing uh, university in the country for a while, but we um, we made a deliberate decision not just to grow bigger but to grow better, and that was the tagline for a while. And I think I saw this commitment to undergraduate education, to involving students in the research agenda of, of the faculty that we hired, and we hired a large number of them, but they knew they were going to be teaching uh, undergraduate students from day one, uh, and that they were going to be expected to engage those students in all of their professional activities. From UNLV, I went to Northern Illinois, which had a history much like yours. In the late 1800s, it was founded as a normal school, and much of the last century, it had a very good reputation, an excellent reputation for undergraduate ed uh, education.